Okay, so guys, we're gonna play the stair bolt today. Cause um I just want to push ten power bolt, car. Okay? I tested it, it should be recording this. Because this is Okay, yeah, I'm running it on Steam. Go right out I have Steam. The end is never the end, it's never the end, it's never the end, it's ever. But it's ended. Text lies to me. So if you don't know the standard parable is, I'm not gonna tell you. Look it up yourselves. Oh, it's not loading. Really? Quack. Sure you sure man? Like Oh my gosh. <coughs> Why aren't you loading? This is a I don't no, no, we're not gonna answer this one. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the oh. meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I guess this is where Stanley felt he needed to be right now, in this little hallway, here, with no distractions, to study room 417. Yeah, Not to actually it. enter it. No, 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 no. That would be far too forward. Stanley <coughs> wanted to know it from the outside, to see it not just with his eyes, but with his eye. No. Apparently not. Yeah, but just really want to when Stanley out. came to a set of two yeah, open doors, he entered the door on his left. I, ha I have something very important to do. Uh, I know where I'm going, guys. I yet there was not a single either. person here but either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his... Stanley no. stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned box? around box and got back on track. My fake box. See, my fake box works here. I'm just going to stay here. There was nothing here. No choice to make, <laughs> no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No there's, reason there's to stay here. There's this, there's this wrench. There's this string, I think. There's a more tape. There's it was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. What's F.A.? I absolutely know. Also, guys, if you look at the comments, are you really still in the broom closet? Yeah. Standing around doing nothing? Because that's a broom me. closet, yo. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I like, I like being in the broom closet. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find <coughs> out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story <laughs> whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Well, this is what happens when you don't mention things. I go, I do other stuff. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. No, no, no. Maybe no, when you go talk I'm about here. this with your friend, you'll say, I'm, Oh, I'm did you get what? the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my <laughs> favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. Oh, but uh, well, I don't want to go up to a friend and say that because I'm just here because Stanley. Stanley me. was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Oh. He probably only got the job oh, because of a family connection. <laughs> That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. <laughs> also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Oh, uh, so me. Well, He's I've so come me. to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. What? You're dead. I'm not dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? 
anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Whoa, what? There's a dead body here. Okay, this will be take a time out. Okay, that's done. All right, time to play like this dude said. Ah, second what? player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee <coughs> you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You two. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm just joking. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. I was just pretending. The fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. Okay, I'll get my fish. I'll get my monkey. I'll get my monkey. I'm just saying, I don't have a pet monkey. Oh, I'm just saying. What monkey probably wouldn't do that? Alright, let's get you out of the metro because. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No. No. I did that on purpose. <coughs> Alright. All of his co workers. No, no, stop talking. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No, Stanley never misses a memo. Stanley was too good for that. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. What open door? I don't see an open door on my left. I think he meant Stanley was so door. bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. No, no. You mean the different type of directions. You mean directions. Look, Stanley, yeah. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. What do you mean? I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. No, I'm pretty sure you're I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been no, about nothing but you all this time. Yeah, it's the someone you've been the hero. Stand yeah, the hero. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking <laughs> for her. Sure. Ha, ha, ha. This is it, Stanley. Your okay. chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Oh, She's been waiting. Whoa. Oh, cool. That's oh, cool. her, Stanley. Oh, that's oh, no, 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 no. You can't. Did you just unplug the phone? Yeah, that's well, That wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. What do you mean chose incorrectly? Let me double check. I, I made another choice. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge <coughs> themselves to one another. Uh -huh, Music you comes can't in, fool me. Victor I White you will credit. Not picking I up the phone is actually me. somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't sense. understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? What, You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Wait, you just <sighs> noticed in the broom closet. You I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. See, if you've made any more too. wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. Person. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. This is a game. Or did you not That's grasp the severity of the situation? I don't well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. Game. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional this video.
Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. My goodness, is it 4 30? I'm supposed to be having pizza right now. I'm sorry. I gotta go. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis well, is the best part to a healthy decision making process. Most there. medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. I don't have an instructor. I mean, I'm the only one here. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. <coughs> Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you awesome home as soon as possible be before okay. the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Wait. So I'm not supposed to wait. So basically you taught me how to not wear reality. Wow. You just wow, you're 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 not you're not This guy is crazy, dude. He's not he's not the first right. It's crazy. Right, now I want all the way. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. What? No, it's good. I'm leaving. Bye. All right, I'm back. I'm now remember, back. all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, that door is the door on the left right now. That's just like this door, right? No! Why did oh. you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the oh. other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is not incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't so I made it I'll have to live with it forever. 
Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? Oh, what are you talking about? Okay, What's I, the answer? I think what do I safe. do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. The key what to the Huh? Oh hey, it's portal two guys. Oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. <coughs> oh, this is a choice. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. Make what? Did you think that would be funny? You just had to see. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? No, you didn't. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Jeez. That thought yeah. hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. I'm a teenager, and I don't care oh. about your life, so that's why I did My this. story. <laughs> if you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. No. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Oh. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Okay. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Well, Just follow my happening. lead and you'll be fine. Yeah, All right. So <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, Yet there was not a single person here either. Okay. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. No, I can't get the screen closet. He's Coming me. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not Wait, an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? Night Shark 115, guys. To find out. It, it, it Stanley had been me. trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. Speak, Stanley, speak. He drew a sharp breath <coughs> and then spoke the code. Oh, it didn't work. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night nice. Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver, right, right there on the wall. Shark. One, one, five. Enter. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Stan, we can't Please speak. Please speak the code into the receiver. Stan, we Otherwise can't Otherwise we can't speak. get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I, I asked you for this well, you one have single factor. thing for your respect. It was supposed the to be a code. Of respect no. Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. No, I'm done. If you didn't I'm want to see what I had to show you, then why did oh, you come here? Sure. You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you c-
but us. <coughs> Enjoy life. Just wait for this. Oh, I got one punch in my head. <laughs>